A question of character. Bill Riser and Lance Bean are back. No, they are not. Their great grandchildren are back. Jimbo and Sully. Special Forces Commando comrades. Just like their fearsome forefathers. And this time, they're using guns. Just like last time. Cloudy Forces use lasers to destroy Neo City. But not just any Cloudy Forces. Red Falcon Cloudy Forces. Red Falcon. The Red Falcon are Armada still are not finished invading Earth. That always defeats them, however. This time, they intend to use a new strategy that's exactly like the old one. The alien wars begin. Jimbo and Sully state their dedications. One seeks revenge. The other looks to fight aggressively. Both promise to kill. They not only have a gun, they now have two guns. Show it off! They both enjoy bandanas and colorfully bright fatigues that conceal nothing. Because concealment is not their strategy, but instead death pellets. And this time, their death pellets are faster and more reddish and less escapable. Trying to run will only make your death more exhaustive. They both are as athletic as their granted forefathers. The flips are terrific. The hazards are death-inducing. But no flame can match their burning desire for revenge. Don't ever destroy their city with inclement weather lasers or face their wrath. Everything is against them, even homeless puppy pets. Laser that rascal. Hijack the tank. Use your incredible turns. Dizziness is not a factor. Red Falcon foolishly ships munitions for easy interception. Jimbo and Sully love your weapons. Homing gun. Bullets follow the enemies like bees on a honey-dipped dog. Accurate. Crush gun. Laser gun. Fire gun. The firearm of choice for eliminating all oh, that sucks. And the returning spread gun. The most powerful weapon of all. But also the M80,000 helio bomb. The most powerful weapon of all that only vaporizes evil. Because goodness exists on a totally different frequency. Amazingly, they tuck into the tightest spin, blazing both of their rifles. Similar to Bill Riser and Lance Bean, Jimbo and Sully must not be touched, bellowing the most agonizing yell with even the slightest brush. Distressful. Fortunately, the commandos can barrier themselves, rendering them colorfully invincible. The duo are resourceful, performing fascinating wall climbs. They blast and climb, and blast and climb and flip. They love flipping, even on motorcycles. The commandos will ride your attack missiles, proving that the only thing stronger than missiles is infantry riding the missiles. Power, excellent. Jimbo and Sully are walking arsenals of destruction. Unlimited ammo. Unlimited rage. Unlimited carcasses. Defense. Low. The commandos must avoid literally everything that is not a weapon. Correction. That is not their weapon. Agility. Excellent. Incredibly, they can flip over anything at any height and climb or hang without tiring, essentially becoming suitless Spider-Man with guns. Grade B. The commandos fear nothing, mostly because death allows for instantaneous flashing resurrection. Their revenge is relentless. Their faces are angry, and the Red Falcon's battle plan is pathetic. Still failing to stop only two people. Thankfully, Jimbo and Sully are here to exploit their foolish weakness and prove that peace can only be attained through unpeace and that this dog is ugly. Next episode. A woman's got to do what a man's got to do. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.